In fact, in Europe, we are trying to instill a digital DNA in our internal market. This is our project called the Digital Single Market. And we're building this project based on the fundamental core values of the European Union. If we're going to transform our society into a digital society in Europe, we really and truly believe and we are trying to make sure we have the tools in place to create the trust of both of our users and our people, but also of the industry and the governments. And trust is based on two very important principles and values in the European Union, security and privacy. This is why we're putting in place all the relevant regulatory framework. The general data protection regulation is one example of that. We need to complete privacy rules also to include electronic privacy and to modernize that part of our privacy landscape. And when it comes to security, we now have in place a number of regulations, a number of initiatives and concrete actions, including the requirement for all operators of essential services to meet security requirements, for all authorities to be able to tackle cybersecurity at the national level, to have emergency response teams, but also for Europe to work collectively to manage uh, cybersecurity. In addition to that, if we're going to have a digital DNA in our digital single market, we need to give everybody the right tools that meet security and privacy by design. This is where it is very important to also have the right authentication tools, a proper electronic identity that people can trust and that will become the key to unlocking the potential to all the applications of a digital society. One of the foundations of the European internal market and its core values is cooperation. Europe is strong because member states who work together, decide together and implement together. We have now implemented this approach also to cybersecurity, thanks to the NIS directive that has created concrete networks of member states to discuss both policy but also operational matters in specific networks and which have been working in the last two years together, but also by bringing together all actors public, private and academic sectors, not only to make decisions, but to identify where we need solutions, to work on research and innovation for the future and to decide where Europe needs to invest better. This is why we have made also a very specific proposal for a regulation that will generate a European competence centre that will coordinate and largely depend on a network of existing centres of excellence, be that private or public, research institutions who should come together and decide on the agenda of cybersecurity in the future. This is a mechanism that requires cooperation amongst all actors because we know in cybersecurity nobody will be able to do it alone, not only because it is a very demanding sector and it is ever changing on a daily basis, but also because we have a very serious skills gap that we need to address by also working together, exchanging practices and knowledge and tackling a common threat because cyber attacks are a common threat. It is really those those who want to challenge our systems against us, defending them and making them more resilient, but also responding in the case of attacks.